Welcome to HPZ212 Supply Chain Management. I am Marjorie Marcos Perez from BSHM2V. So, hi, good day. Um, my name is Arjan Galvez from BSHM2V. And today we will tackle about function of supply chain management. Functions of supply chain management provide centralized control for the planning, design, manufacturing, inventory, and distribution phases required to produce and sell a company products. Borders level supply chain management consists of these four major functions and the key elements components such as first is we have the integrations. These forms of groups of the supply chain and it's meant to coordinate communication to produce effectively and timely results. It can include innovation of new software or advanced technological process to improve communications. Next, we have the operation. This involves management of the day-to-day -day operations, commerce business. Like for example, it may deal with keeping an eye on the inventory of coming up with marketing approach. Last, we have the distribution. This deals with management of logistics across wholesalers, retailers, and customers. This may mean keeping an eye on the shipment and other details. In addition to this, there are also some subsidiary functions that are effective supply chain management process for skills such as aligning distribution flows, integrating the function from manufacture to delivery, designing complex and advanced system, and last is managing and coordinating resources. Goals of function and supply chain management is to improve efficiently by coordinating the efforts of the various entities in the supply chain management. So next we have the five functions of supply chain management. First is acquiring purchasing in the first role in supply chain management. Um, help, we need to help other departments identify their needs, manage the resolutions, process and sources, competitive prices, and generally act as controllers to ensure adherence to budget. Second is business operations, is the harvesting of value from a site owned by a business. Third is transportation and logistics. Transportation focuses on the movement of goods from one place to another and the logistic is a broad term and includes freight management. Fourth is management of resources. The practice of planning, scheduling, and allocating people, money, and technology to a project or program. And last is the workflow of information, the series of activities that are necessary to complete a task. Another three most important functions in supply chain management. First, we have the procurement, the process of acquiring goods or services from an external source. Second is the storing, the process of basic inventory for sale or distribution. And last is the delivery, the process of transporting goods from a source location to a predefined destinations so for today um, we will gonna so i mean i am going to discuss to you the seven supply chain function so to begin so first things first we have here the purchasing so purchasing is the process of business or organization uses to acquire goods goods and services to accomplish it so first things first, um, what do we meant by purchasing? So, so to begin, um, so purchasing um, is to obtain by paying money or equivalent. So a very good example here we have is um, um, Fatima buy a new iPhone 13 Pro Max. So. So buy is what we call purchase, okay? So up next, we have here the manufacturing. So 
Manufacturing is the making of goods by hands or by machine that are upon completion of the business sales to a customer. So, okay. So, what do we mean here by manufacturing? Um, so, what do we mean here by manufacturing? Um, it is simply defined as the creation of new products. So, alam naman nating lahat. So, as an entrepreneur or a as a businessman or a businesswoman. So, first things first is we need a manufacturer before keeping up with our ideas. So, di ba? Like, for example, um, I invented um, this type, this kind of um, product. So, so first things first, um, we need a manufacturer to, to, to define more of our products. So, parang ganun lang siya, guys. Up next, we have here the inventory management. So, inventory management um, aids a business in determining which um, merchandise to order, when, and in what quantity. So, inventory is tracked from product to sale. So, um, so in here... Um, so here we the inventory management is making sure to guarantee there is always um, adequate inventory to fulfill clients order and proper warning of guarant of shortfall rather so the technique to recognize the trends and reacts to them so that's it for the inventory management so up next we have here the demand planning so demand planning um, is a supply chain management process of forecasting or presiding the demands for um, products to ensure that they can be delivered and satisfy customers um, so the goal here is to strike and balance between having sufficient inventory inventory levels to meet customers needs without having a surplus so number five we have here the warehousing so um, warehousing is the process of storing physical inventory for sale of distribution so here in warehousing um, so so we have to practice our process of storing goods in a warehouse. Um, warehouse is considered as collectively. So number six, we have here the transportation. So um, the transportation is the movement of product from one location to another. Like for example, um, we are transporting our goods from from um, Mindanao to Luzon like that and the last one we have here the number seven which is the customer service so the customer service are the supply chain management process that represents the firm face to the customer so here in customer service um, it is the provision of service to the customers before um, before during and after a purchase so this makes it it an important part of the value chain of clients so so each industry requires different levels different levels of customer service um, but in the end um, the idea of a well-performed service is that of increasing revenues.